Well, good morning, good morning, good morning. It's actually the afternoon because we've kind of just been doing regular form work all morning. Um, but it is 95 degrees out with 90% humidity. So it's a warm one today, but we have something fun to show you guys. A lot of you have been asking about how to do electrical and plumbing in the walls. And we have our first instance where we actually need to bring plumbing pipes in from the outside through a wall. So we're actually gonna show you how to do that right now. Check it out. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring in a either half inch or three quarter inch water line into the wall from the outside of this part right here. We're gonna cut this pipe right here and then we're gonna slide it between the two so it's butt up against both sides of the form. And this is a two inch pipe. And what we're gonna do then is once the walls and the forms come off, we will have a hole going all the way through the wall. We'll notch the foam at the base right here. And then what we'll do is we'll take a two inch piece of our foam, two inch round piece of our foam, and then cut, like basically make a donut of foam that'll go through and we'll use it like a plug. So we'll run our half inch or three quarter inch uh, water line in and plug it all the way up so that way we don't have, we have as little thermal bridging as possible. And then uh, we'll essentially fill the rest of it with uh, either foam or like a cap or something like that. That way you can pull the water line out if you need to um, and replace it. So if the water line goes bad or whatever, you don't have a broken, or if it breaks or freezes or whatever, you don't have a broken water line that's uh, completely encapsulated in rammed earth. So that's what we're gonna do right now and get all ready for that. And then we're just gonna continue forming up the rest of the wall and leave this in here uh, with the foam notched around it. So that's pretty much it. But that is how you, that's how we're choosing to do plumbing. I'm sure there's other ways to do it, but uh, it makes the most sense to us. Uh, the other thing is we're using a two inch pipe, which is oversized by quite a bit. So that way we have some play for the pipe to move around because we wanna be able to get, um, because the pipe will be exposed to the elements on the outside of the wall, we're gonna be able to wrap it in uh, insulation so that way it doesn't freeze in case we ever have a snowmageddon in East Texas again, which like that'll ever happen, right? The other thing is we're also gonna be putting in a drain, exact same concept, but we need a bigger piece of pipe. So we want a two inch drain line. So we're gonna use a three inch piece of pipe so that way we have a, enough wiggle room to sort of uh, put it in and fill it. So, and then, uh, because this is the garage that we'll be living in temporarily, when we don't need the water lines anymore, what we can do is just buy um, PVC plugs, stick them in, and then we ha always have access through if we need to run wires or whatever. Um, if we really wanted to get you know fancy with it, we could do a flush plug and then paint it, or even uh, plug the hole with concrete patch uh, if we wanted a permanent seal on it. Fill it with foam, uh, the, the polyiso foam, and then uh, patch over it. So there's lots of options. We wanna kinda make this be versatile because it's not our permanent dwelling, but this is one way to do plumbing. Uh, for the house, we will have one main line that comes in as well, and then the rest of the plumbing will be done indoors, uh, not in the walls. Uh, for electrical, it works a little bit different. We'll show you that when we get to there. So there you go, that's plumbing through rammed earth. All right, so the other unique bit of this wall is we did a couple of things. We did a double chamfer here uh, so that the two walls, when they come together, uh, it just hides the fact that this will push out a little bit. Um, it just hides it and makes it look a little cleaner by the time we're done. So there'll be two chamfers to butt these two walls. The other thing we tried um, is we actually put in a two by four in this wall so that way the uh, foam had something to sit in so it helps secure it on this far side. That turned out to not really be super helpful or beneficial. We probably won't do that again, but uh, you know we tried it to see if it would work. It didn't really work out, so we won't do it again. But yeah, this, uh, once it was real hard to get this two by four out of here. Um, and now that I'm looking at it, the rammed earth squeezes on the foam. So this gap isn't even really big enough now. So it's gonna be a pain to get the foam to set in there. But you know, you live and learn, try things and keep moving, so. So next time we would just bring it all the way up to the form and then tap out any excess that yeah. was in there. Yeah, so next time what we would do is just have the foam essentially be flat here, actually over here on this side. If you look right up here, see how that foam is right up against the wall? 
we would do that next time. Um, and the reason this is a unique, this is an interesting part, this is an interesting section of wall, because the reason there's foam up there is because this wall that you see, there will be a wall here. Here, I don't know if you can see the, what's it called, the uh, rebar coming up. So there'll be a T right here that will come in and it will, uh, this T will go all the way up. But the issue is uh, we didn't want to have to T this and deal with this and all of this, but this part will always be indoors. And so we didn't do, uh, uh, we didn't worry about the foam right here because there's a small amount of thermal bridging, but it's all indoors. Um, yeah. So we cut our two inch piece of PVC right here. Now we're gonna walk over here. Place it in your form like so. Some people might be worried that that'll leave uh, room for bugs or varmints or varmints? Vermin. <laughs> Varmint? <laughs> That's Waskily weapons. <laughs> it's 95 at 90% humidity. It's been a long day. I'm literally soaking wet and have not been in the water. Oh, no, I was in the water earlier, wasn't I? Anyway. Um, I'm pretty sure 99% of that is sweat. It's, it's, it's mostly sweat. Um, oh, some, some of you might be worried that it'll allow bugs and things like that in. It does open up a gap to the area, but what we're going to do is seal all around the pipe once it's in. So bugs and rats and other things can't uh, crawl in, hopefully. That's the idea anyway. So we'll let you know how that works out in a couple of years. All right. So we have a couple more pieces of rebar to do. Then we're going to lay our foam in. Actually, we're going to lay our foam in now. We need, then our, no, we need to do steel. We're going to do steel, then foam, then rebar. Then we're done. Or then two more pieces of form, and then we're done. Can we do foam before we do the three inch pipe? Yeah, just, uh, nope. Nope, we can't. Nope. Hey, Teej. Wanna go you wanna to run to town? Oh, can we get out the road? Okay. Well. They're working on the road. We're gonna figure it all out. Yeah, we'll figure that out. Maybe we'll do a four inch. Four inches of touch overkill, but that's all right. All right, so we um, didn't have any three inch pipe, but we had four inch pipe. So we're going to use four inch pipe, four inch pipe, uh, and two inch pipe. So the two inch pipe will be for the water main, uh, which will be a three quarter inch line, likely, and then the four inch pipe will be for the drain, which will be a two inch pipe likely, which will give us enough room to put foam. This is about the only thermal bridge, true thermal bridge that'll be coming from the outside in unimpeded, but that's why we're going to wrap everything in foam and uh, hopefully we'll be okay. So we shouldn't lose too much on that. Let's drop this sucker in. Let's slide this over. Essentially, we're going to have a window here, a sink, dishwasher, and we're putting the drain and the water mains between the two of them. So that's what's gonna be there. I don't know if I can put it in. Oh no! No, you can't. No, I can't. You know those days when it's so hot you can't think? Yes. Uh, loosen that. A little more. Going. There it is. There we go. Oh, what a terrible sound. All right. So there we go. We have our drain line. Uh, and I think what we'll do is probably separate them a little bit so that way rammed earth can get in between them. We separated these two a little because so, we want rammed earth to pack in real tight in here. Um, so that way we've got a little bit of space, but there'll be a little bit of rammed earth. We'll have to clean up the outside, but it'll be okay. Um, and I just thought of why the drain should be on this side and the water main should be on that side because the drain is going that way and the water main is coming from that way. So otherwise we'll have to crisscross them outside. And oh, that's all houses are done though. It, it's true. Terribly. Yeah, but we're not doing that. We are better than this. All right, for the foam, we're going to need a gap. Mm -hmm. 
at 32 inches and 42 inches. So we need the, the two inch gap at 32 inches, the four inch gap at 42 inches. So they are 12 inches apart because it makes it easy to remember. What did I say, 32 and 42, that's what I said. Uh, I thought you said they were a foot apart. Yeah, uh, no, I, I, that's because I'm terrible at math. Okay. Did you think 10 inches was a foot? No. <laughs> Whoa, the ground's really hot. So we need to go there. Four is lava. Four is actually lava. And there. I think we need to come up to Oh, whoa, scorpion. Big one? Little one? Pretty good size one. Look at that. Look at him go. Hey there, little guy. You in the wrong location, bruh. We shall name him Jeff. Hello, Jeffrey. Please, he goes by Jeff. He'll be the protector. He will guard our phone with his life. Uh, they do seem to like this phone for some reason and under the forms. When we take forms off, there's almost like half the time. There's yeah, hey, if there's a scorpion expert out there, leave a comment and let us know why the scorpions really like our forms. If you're not a scorpion expert, but you think you are, go ahead and leave a comment also. We'll listen. He's Come back here, Jeffrey. Hello, Jeffrey. Where are you going? Look Come back him. up here. He's beautiful. Look at how clean and efficient those look. <laughs> those are cut. Oh, it's so bad. Uh, this looks like sponge cake. Sponge and it's really cake hot out. It's sponge cake. I just realized that I was tilting the camera be because you were tilting the foam. <gasps> no. Sure. Maybe not. Oh, there we go. Okay, we're up. Let's come down first. I think your poles are not mm -hmm. quite tall enough. Listen, are you questioning my expertly cut holes? Yes. Yes, I am. Because it sounds a little like you're questioning my expertly cut holes. I think once I put weight on it. Oh, there's a breeze! Yeah, now it's a, there's a gap over here again. Oh. Did you, did you do that again, but better? Why don't you hit your side down? Hit your Stop side down. on my side. I don't want to be in those. There. Yeah, I'll live with that. Last but not least. I cut the wrong side. Oh, no, I didn't. I'm good. lost a, that, that, this stripe will be only an R. 15 instead 15. of, to 30. Yeah. But, all right, we're and good. Are you okay with that gap at the bottom? Yeah, it'll press down when I'm standing on it. Cause I have to stand on this to put the rammed earth in. True. So it presses down and we'll, and once it's locked in, it'll be good to go. All right, we are good to put up the other two form boards and call it a day. Okay, we've got chamfers, we've got holes for connecting rebar. We have spacers, chamfers, steel, yeah. rebar. I can't remember. Drain. I can't remember who the person was who recommended that we use some project management software. This person was 100% correct and I'm choosing to be foolish and not listen to them yet, yet. But, uh, Time's coming. We've made enough mistakes that it needs to happen soon. So thank you, random commenter.
All right, so we got our form completed. We have our foam in, we have our rebar, we have our pipes for the plumbing, the drain, and the water lines. And all the form work's done. Tomorrow we should be ready to pour in our first lifts. I think that's it for today. Thanks for joining our adventure. Mm -hmm.